Hey friends, today I'm continuing my food adventure around Epcot's World Showcase and we have dining reservations at San Angel Inn, which is inside the Mexico Pyramid. I'm so excited. Let's go do this. Before we get to our reservation in San Angel Inn, we have another reservation and it's actually something new. It's a new experience here in the Mexico Pavilion. We are gonna go to La Cava del Tequila and we're gonna actually do an exclusive agave experience where we're gonna taste some amazing tequila and some amazing mascals. So I'm so excited for this. Normally while shooting actually at the Mexico Pavilion, I always like to say it's very dark inside. So we're gonna try to do the best we can with the lighting but this place is so beautiful. I absolutely can spend hours inside here. Look at this. Isn't it so beautiful? And it's actually really early in the morning, so there's hardly anybody in here at the moment. And it's just beautiful to see it like this right now. The agave experience inside the Cava del Tequila is actually a reservation only. And it's the only way that you're allowed to sit down inside and actually enjoy a margarita. Or, like I said, we're going to be sampling some of the best tequila around. And it's so, so hard to come by. And I'm excited that I'm actually able to do this today and show you. And then have an amazing dinner right next to the actual restaurant. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? Here is the Cava del Tequila. We're gonna check in for our reservation. Normally, they only have a grab-and-go location at the bar, but like I said, this special experience is actually a sit-down experience. So this is gonna be really cool to show you. And here we go. I'm so excited. This must be my, my tequila ambassador. Hey, welcome to La Cava. Oh, today. very good. Hey, welcome. So this is gonna be a welcoming margarita for you. It's gonna be the top shelf, which is made with 100% of agave tequila. Is the Casagrabones silver. I can't even believe somebody welcomed me with the margarita. You get a welcome margarita. That is amazing. <laughs> Once you're actually at your table, like I said, you get a welcome margarita, which I feel fancy. You can take your mask off and just kind of enjoy. And he's gonna actually be our ambassador today, and he's gonna show us and teach us all the different tequilas and mascals. I'm so excited, this is in a learning experience. I'm not gonna spoil the whole entire experience for you, but I'm gonna give you a rundown of basically what you are experiencing. You are learning the history of how tequila is made, and you're gonna actually sample five different types of tequila and you're gonna learn to pair them up in different ways to make it the best experience and the tequila ambassador is just gonna guide you through all of this you get a welcome margarita you get some chips and guac also you have water available it's about 45 minutes I am so excited because this seems something right up my alley Welcome to La Cava de Tequila. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Humberto. I'm a tequila ambassador. I was born and raised in the town of Tequila, and I'm working here doing something very difficult, frying tequila. Wow, <laughs> fancy. <laughs> we got five types of tequilas. The first one is gonna be the silver. We call it silver or blanco. After, uh, when, after the distillation process, you just put it in a bottle, or the norm allows you to put this tequila into the barrels, inside the barrels, but no longer than two months, and you still call it blanco. You just put it like a lime and sugar. That's how you get this the is, smell. Yeah, when I smell this, it's like hard to talk of the That's awesome. And that's exactly the same one. You want to do this? Yes. And even you'll sanitize your hands. Your oh. Yes, yeah, it's going <laughs> to be sanitizing. <laughs> OK, we're going to sanitize so our hands. Do this. Perfect, and then yes. Up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell okay. stand over here. And then so that's gonna be the aroma of the good agave. Oh wow. And it's gonna be something before to start with the tequila tasting, we need to take this vodka because we need to clean our palate. So what is this vodka? Vodka. Yeah, my recommendation is try to sit just a little bit, switch it from both sides on the back to the front, then swallow it, and then water, and we're ready to start with our educational tequila We gotta salute the palate, salute. But then, if you swirl the glass a little bit, then you can observe that there is a line spinning on the walls of the glass. Ooh. That's gonna be the body of your tequila. We call it crown or corona. Now we're learning the different ways to actually smell, use the different senses actually while tasting tequila. 
each one of these is actually going to get paired up with the type of tequila or mezcal. And it's so interesting because we have coffee, cinnamon, chocolate, orange, limes, and then these are crickets? Yeah, crickets. Crickets. So our first tasting is going to be the silver tequila. This is actually only available here in Epcot. This is the only place you can get this, and I'm so excited because now that I got a lesson in how to actually taste tequila, I'm excited to use it. So we're gonna actually do a, a very good uh, like step process. We're gonna breathe it in, we're gonna drink it, get a smell as we're taking it in, and then we're gonna swish it around the mouth a little bit, get a good sense of it, and then we're gonna breathe out, breathe in, and just kind of experience it. So I'm excited, here we go. Did I do good? I did good? It tastes good, wow. It's very good to have these chips and the guac here, but it's also important that in between tasting that we actually cleanse our palate in between. So that's why we have the water here. So it's actually gonna be good, but this will help you, you know, as you're drinking along. Oh boy, now we are on our second type of tequila here. Look at that bottle. That is amazing, isn't it? Fancy. One, right? Yeah. So, Resta. Rested. Rested. And in order for it to actually be that, it needs to be in the barrel for two months. But no longer than a year. No longer than a year. It's definitely got the fanciest bottle, and it's got a different color to it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna break it in half, yeah. smell it, and then go directly to the center. To the center. To the, right. to the, oh, right in the middle. That's correct. <laughs> hey. Our next tasting is Anito and it's actually only found here in Epcot and it's actually very cool how they do this during fermentation they use sonic harmonization and they use music to actually kind of like stir it around a little bit so they play music and the vibrations actually move the actual tequila and if you did rock music it would be like very bouncy but they use classical music and it's like a wave so i would have never known that there was even a such thing as sonic harmonization this is these are all things that you actually learn we're gonna use coffee beans for this one and i'm excited because i love coffee Salud. We're gonna try just right here because there's no no way. And then we went to Mexico, we went to Casanova Distillery, and when then we choose our own barrel on this. Now we are coming up on our last like tasting tasting, and I'm gonna use everything that I learned and I'm gonna do just a full taste and you'll see step by step how I use all of my senses to actually experience this. And which which one's the last one? What is this? It's called Casaragones Coca. Oh, and it's actually a very, very expensive bottle. And actually all of these are, they are very special drinks that you're tasting here and it's very unique only to Epcot itself. So this is gonna put my learnings to the test. I'm gonna be a tequila taster. Yeah, of course. This is it. This is it, a professional. Tequila master. A tequila master! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Mix it around, and we're gonna wait to see the tears. You can see the tears. Then we're gonna give it a smell. Then the lemon, we're gonna use lemon. Go to the center. And now we're going in. Salute. Salute. That's good. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> I am a tequila master. <laughs> and to finish up, we are doing a mascal and we are pairing it with something a little strange and a little cool. I'm excited for this. I've done it before. So let's just dive right in, I guess. As you can see in the bottom of the mezcal glass, this is a classic glass that you would drink it out of. They have a cross, so if you can see that, we're going to heaven. <laughs> oh boy, I'm excited for this. <laughs> Wait a little bit. Just a little bit. Give him a step. And then the orange. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty balanced there. Yeah. That is. <laughs> the, the cricket's very smoky. And salty. Yep, and salty. And then the mezcal has that smoky feeling. Yeah. And then the orange. So it literally balances yes. things perfect. Then smoky and sweet. Salty, smoky, sweet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And that is it, folks. This is one of the coolest things you can do here at Epcot, I feel like. Honestly, well worth it. I'm gonna give you all the details once we actually leave, but honestly, this might be one of my favorite things I've ever done, like as a special experience at Disney. You, I learned so much and had such a great time. I decided to come outside and just give you a brief recap because that was so amazing. Probably, like I said, one of my favorite extra experiences you can do at Disney World. There is a minimum of two people. Uh, they actually allowed me just to come in and show you guys, so I have to thank them. Thank you guys so much. The price is $150 for two people, but the more you actually go up in the group size, it drops down. So, like, if you're a party of four, then it's only $100 a person, and that includes Includes all of the tequilas all of your margaritas they ended up giving me an actual top shelf margarita to go to and it also includes your tequila ambassador well worth it you learned so much but now we're gonna enjoy the Mexico pavilion and uh, get something to eat I definitely need it because that was fun <laughs> Now we are actually going to go check in for our reservation. I'm so excited. I'm going to try to request a table by the water so we can actually watch the boats from the three cabaneros as they go by. I think that would be very nice, but there's only four of them, so you might have to wait a little longer, and I'm willing to wait. Now that we're all checked in, I'm going to sit back, enjoy my margarita. They have a special area over here where you can actually just take your mask off, enjoy your drink. And then probably after dinner, we're going to have to ride the Grand Fiesta Tour. I mean, if you're in Mexico and you're enjoying the pavilion, the Grand Fiesta Tour is a must. Looks like our table is ready. Oh, look how beautiful this is now. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Wow, totally worth waiting for a table. Look at this, guys. Oh, I love it. I have always wanted to eat in here and I've never done it so I'm so happy that I get the experience to actually enjoy it and show you guys as well. It's just so beautiful. If you're familiar with the Blue Bayou in Disneyland, that's another place I want to eat and it's kind of like this but with Pirates of the Caribbean going by. Isn't that amazing? But seriously, holy moly, can you ask for a better view? Like, this is really awesome. I'm really enjoying the atmosphere in here. It's quiet, the, the candlelight, the boats, and you can hear the background noise for the actual ride. It's relaxing. I decided on getting the polio la rajas for my entree instead of getting the carne asada because I thought it was a little bit different, but I'm getting the sauce on the side. That is basically the dish itself is the sauce, but I'll get it on the side just in case. And then also I decided on getting the Supa Aztec, which sounds absolutely amazing. And here comes the soup. This looks amazing. Holy moly. Oh, I am so excited. Wow. Oh, and then we got some chips and salsa. Fancy. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. They pour the soup in so that the chips don't get soggy. I'm so excited to try this. That was so awesome, wasn't it? Oh, this is, it's a little hot, but I'm excited.
that is so good. A little bit of a spice. You can see we got the avocado, and then we got the corn tortilla strips in there. Very delicious. I absolutely love this. And you can always grab some more of your chips that they actually give you when they dip it in a little bit like that. Or you can do it with the actual salsa. I like to keep in tradition and show you guys a unique hidden Mickey in each of the country. If you guys look up at the volcano there, the smoke, there should be a hidden Mickey that appears. I can't really see it from here, but on the camera you should be able to see it pop up. If you do, let me know in the comments. It's pretty awesome. It's a hard one to find too. As I was enjoying my chips and salsa, my meal actually came, and I absolutely love the salsa that they have here. And this is the chicken it's known for the sauce. Now, I asked for the sauce on the side because I wanted to make sure I liked it first, and that way, if it's not any good, I just have a nice chicken and potato kind of like little dinner. But this is what makes the dish. So we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully I like it. I think I'll try a little bit of the sauce on the fork first. Just to, you know, get a base right here. Okay, I think I like the sauce. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep the sauce on the side and just basically eat it like this because it makes things a little bit fresher and kind of like how the soup is, it doesn't let the potatoes and the chicken get soggy. So we're gonna kind of just flop this here and then put it right on there like that. Oh yeah, this is the way. Overall, this restaurant is really good and fun and you're really paying for the atmosphere. In here, it's just so amazing. I like just looking around and seeing all the different candle lights, the people going by on the boats as they enjoy their Grand Fiesta tour. Very awesome. I am absolutely enjoying all of my restaurants that I've been going to here at Epcot's World Showcase. We started, we did the Beer Garden, Tepanito, the Cellier, and now right on over here. So I'm excited to get all of the other ones done. And I'm trying foods that I've never tried before. I've always been kind of like a reserved picky eater, but I'm trying to like increase and widen my palate and just explore different flavors. And what better place than Epcot? Like I would have never actually tried that sauce. If I seen the sauce on it, I probably would have been like, no, just hold the sauce. But I ended up trying it and then I absolutely loved it. It was very good. And I appreciate the fact that I'm making these videos because it's kind of making me do this. And uh, it's such a great, great thing. Like I'm so happy. <laughs> My server brought out some tortillas so that we can make some Las Rajas like tacos. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? So we're gonna actually take some chicken and we're gonna take the actual potato. Then we added the sauce to it and uh, make a little taco. That sounds great. And they just brought these out. You can just ask for tortillas because they said tortillas come with everything in Mexico. And I was like, oh, really? Well, I'll take some then, thank you. <laughs> it's a little bit like soggy, but I'm excited. But now we're gonna need to look at the dessert. They got the horchata cheesecake, the dolce de leche, and then also the coco flan. That sounds pretty good. Creamy Mexican custard with a chocolate sponge cake topped with toasted almonds. I think we're gonna do that. Wow. Yeah, we're getting all fancy here. Holy moly, guys. Take a look at this dessert. That is so beautiful. I don't even want to touch it right now. I am so excited to try this dessert. Oh, wow, this just looks so amazing. First, I'm gonna do it without any of the fruit and just get like a good taste of it. Now, I'm gonna actually add a little bit of the fruit to it. Maybe a strawberry, oh yeah. Oh, wow. This is so amazing. This is probably the highlight of the meal for me. Like, oh my lord. This was absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it. So delicious. I know I was a little shocked on how great it was. I wasn't expecting, I thought it was gonna be a lot of chocolate, but 
it was the perfect balance and the fruit mixed in literally just indulgence amazing but now I think we're done and we're gonna have to move along I absolutely loved it and we're gonna have to go for a ride just like these people going right now so we'll hop right in line it's literally right over there it looks like there's a no wait that's perfect we got done eating just in time like I said there is no wait to get on the Grand Fiesta tour lucky us it's so cool that we're riding this now and we're going to be able to look over there and now every time I ride it I can say I finally ate there. But there it is, that's where we were just eating. It's so beautiful from back here, you get a bigger, like, a bigger, wider angle of actually the whole restaurant. to see if the three Cabaneros have returned or if it's still the cardboard cutouts. Oh, they're still MIA. And with that, I think I am all done here. That was so much fun, the whole entire experience from the uh, actual tequila tasting that we did, which thank you to the La Cava del Tequila for allowing me to come in and show you guys that. And then also just our dinner. I absolutely love this Adventure Around the World Showcase. Where do you guys think I should go next? I've already done the beer garden, like I said, Pepinito. I've done the Cellier. Now I've done San Angelin. And now there's only a couple more. This is just so amazing. I'm so blessed that I can do this. Anywho. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.